I once dreamt I was eating a pillow, and when I woke up, my giant marshmallow was gone. That's not right. Come True was written and directed by Anthony Scott Burns and it's available via digital download from the 15th of March and special edition Blu-ray from the 5th of April. My thanks to Strike Media and Lightbulb Film Distribution for the screener for this film. A teenage runaway takes part in a sleep study that becomes a nightmarish descent into the depths of her mind and a frightening examination of the power of dreams. Welcome back to Game Over Movie Reviews. My name is Peter and this is my movie review of Come True. To describe Come True... I offer you an analogy. Imagine you go out for a meal at a brand new restaurant. You've never heard of it before, but it looks pretty interesting. The starter arrives. It's like nothing you've had before. It's very tasty. Your bouche is amused. The main course turns up. It's nicely presented. It's just a burger, but it's pretty good. Maybe some of the chips are a little bit undercooked. And it takes a long time for the staff to clear away the table. You order your dessert and then you wait and you wait and you wait. The dessert turns up and it's just a single scoop of ice cream and the waiter tips up your table and sets fire to the entire restaurant. Much more on that quite stretched analogy later on so please stick around. But first let's look at that starter and the main course as we talk about the good stuff of Come True. The general mood, tone and the washed out colour palette all come together to create a genuinely creepy atmosphere. This film is kind of split into chapters which are given the headings The Persona, The Anima and the Animus the shadow and the self. These rang a bell back to when I did film studies at university many, many, many years ago and I intuited that there were something to do with psychology or the ego and probably Freud. It's always Freud. Looking them up afterwards, they actually came from Carl Jung and not Freud and he stipulated that the persona is the outward face we present to the world, our mask. The anima animus is the unconscious feminine side in males and the masculine tendencies in women. The shadow is the animal side of our personality and is the source of our creative and destructive tendencies. And finally, the self, which provides a sense of unity of experience. No, I don't know what that means either. It's not necessary to know, understand, or even care about these things to get something from come true. But I wish the film had spent a little bit longer trying to tie these in with the actual story. It's a lot to ask that your viewers have a full grasp of Jungian psychology. Without this knowledge, these are just headings and don't really have any bearing on the film. There are quite a few dream, well, nightmare sequences in Come True and they are the absolute standout of this film. I struggle to understand how these were actually put together, whether it was done in camera or post-production via effects. They are extremely creepy, brilliantly shot and designed, and I really enjoyed them. And I would say Come True is worth checking out, if only for these sequences. It's a committed performance and you get to feel... All her confusion, bewilderment and fear at what she's experiencing. The soundtrack which comes from Electric Youth and Pilot Priest, who is actually writer-director Anthony Scott Burns, is that kind of lo-fi sci-fi synth that we keep getting in all these films. It's actually a really effective soundtrack and is another strong point of Come True. Do you plan on giving Come True a watch? If so, you might want to stick around and hear my negatives of the film first. And are you familiar with Jungian psychology? Probably not, but if you are, let me know in the comments below. If you're enjoying this review, take a step into the shadow realm and click on that subscribe button. And if you like this video, please like this video. Also, sci-fi and horror are two of my favourite genres and I have plenty more reviews on this channel and you can check them out on these playlists up here or in the description down below. So let's stretch this restaurant analogy further and talk about the dessert and the not-so-good stuff I've come true. The ending of this film genuinely made me angry. We're honestly talking strong competition here for one of the all-time worst endings of a sci-fi film. When I talk about the ending, I specifically mean the very final 30 seconds of this film, the final revelation. It felt to me that the whole film was written without an ending and they just picked one out of a hat. If Come True had ended one minute sooner, it would have left me feeling a little confused and maybe a tad unfulfilled, but it would have at least been interesting and open to my own interpretation, whatever that might have been. The ending we got... Just, just no. No. There are other major issues with Come True. The second half drags badly. The pacing and change of story focus feels misjudged, especially when compared with the intriguing and exciting first half of the film. Again, I felt like there was no plan for where this story was going. The second half just felt 
aimless. There is a really icky sex scene which had me squirming. This was also, in my view, very badly misjudged. It's the scene that builds up to it, the scene itself. It's very uncomfortable. Perhaps this was intentional because of the Jungian anima, animus stuff. I don't know. I, I didn't like it. In summary, to use the old football cliche, Come True is a film of two halves. The first half sets up an intriguing sci-fi horror mystery with absolutely stunning dream sequences and a great lead performance from Julia Sarah Stone. The second half feels aimless and slow and it leads to an ending which actually renders all my above points moot because of how much a cop-out it feels. My score for Come True is 4.5 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Game over, man. It's game over.